What's up guys, you're watching Jane Boy TV and we are back with another reaction. Today we'll be reacting to How Soon Is Now, official music video by The Smiths. This is a song that I heard playing in the background of a movie that I watched on Netflix called The Killer. I heard a tiny bit of this song and knew I wanted to react to the full thing, so here I am. If this is your first time to the channel, I am new to the rock genre, exploring the mini classic rabbit holes, having a blast. If you want to join me on that journey, take a second to scroll down, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss a video when I post. It helps out the channel tremendously, and if you guys are interested in exclusive content or you want to ensure that I react to your suggestion, definitely consider checking out the Patreon. The link will be in the description. I have tons of reactions to classic songs that got blocked here from YouTube, songs that I know you guys would enjoy. That being said, let's get right into this video. Guys, I try not to overreact to music, but man, this was just amazing to me. I enjoyed every element of this song, every aspect, the style, the sound, just everything. This is the same feeling I got when I heard Donovan for the first time, Joe Jackson, John Lennon, all these guys. I instantly knew that this was my speed. Again, I don't want to jump the gun, but I think the Smiths are one of those bands that just stick with me instantly. Love the guitars on this song. I love that kind of distorted sound where it was kind of like going back and forth. It was almost like it was fluttering in a way. 
way. Love the drums, they came in strong. Love the beat on this song. There's one guitar on this song that sounds similar to Robert Plant on their Immigrant song. Like obviously they're not exactly the same, they just sound similar, so it reminded me of that. But I absolutely loved it on this song. Love the bass line on this song, great stuff. And I especially enjoyed the vocals on this one, super smooth. This guy has a great sounding voice and it really set the mood for this song. I just really enjoyed the style of this whole thing. And then we get into the lyrics on this song. He said, I am the son and the heir of a shyness that is criminally vulgar. I am the son and heir of nothing in particular. Now I have no clue what this actually means, but if I had to guess, I would say he's saying that he's like kind of so shy that it's almost anti-social in a way. I feel like it might just be a metaphor for him saying like he just stays out of the way so much that he almost like fades into the background. I don't know, that could be a complete reach, but I'm just analyzing the words that I'm seeing. Next verse he says, you shut your mouth. How can you say I go about things the wrong way? I'm just a human and I need to be loved just like everybody else does. Man, going deep here. I think the main point of that line is the humanity. How can you say I'm doing this thing wrong when nobody really has it figured out? And you're not in my shoes. You don't have my experiences. We're two different people. I think differently than you. I've got to figure things out just like everybody else. And most important of all, I need to be loved just like everybody else. I think there's like a saying that says you catch more flies with honey or something like that. A little bit later, he says, there's a club if you'd like to go. You could meet somebody who really loves you. So you go and you stand on your own and you leave on your own and you go home and you cry and you want to die. So that goes back to the theme of him being so shy that it's criminally vulgar. He's talking about going to a club to meet somebody to love and once again, just fading into the background, leaving alone and just going home and sulking in that loneliness. And then the last verse I'll go over, he says, when you say it's gonna happen now, when exactly do you mean? See, I've already waited too long and all my hope is gone. First thing that that kind of makes me think of is just when people say, oh, it'll all be all right, you'll be all right. And then you're just kind of thinking like, how do you know that? How do you know I'm not about to spiral out of control? When exactly will this get better? When will this be okay? So obviously he's kind of waiting to see some changes in his life or he just got off track and he's trying to get back on track, but he's having trouble. I feel like he's kind of looking for more love and less judgment. Like now is not the time to correct me on the behavior that you think I'm doing wrong. Right now, I just need some support to help me maintain before I go off the deep end. So he's kind of needing some encouragement. He's needing some life to be spoken into him. Man, this was a fantastic song. Some great stuff. Great recommendation from you guys. If you guys have any suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the content. And I will catch you guys on the flip. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you're interested in helping to steer the ship in terms of where the music goes, you'll definitely want to check out that Patreon. You'll be able to get your suggestions to me directly. You can get your favorite deep cuts reacted to or even just your favorite songs. On top of that, you'll have access to exclusive content, songs that got blocked here from YouTube from legendary artists like the Beatles. So if you want your suggestions to be the priority, definitely check out the Patreon at this link. You won't be disappointed. Hope to see you there.